Um, you <coughs> literally, I mean, I, you, either that you and Dom, I think, are the only two guys I know that are just, I mean, you cats are all over the place. Like, you don't say no, pretty much you don't say no to anything. You're no. a yes guy, yeah. yes guy, I'll do yeah. this, I'll do that. Um, and you live a lifestyle that, that could technically be hard on a person. Uh, can we say how old you are, Kenny? Yep, 60. Kenny, 60. Um, and I mean, you would not, you would not. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You would you would not know. <laughs> you would never guess that that he's even close to forty. Yeah. Um, I tested at forty three a couple years ago. Really? Yeah. Wow. Blood test, reflex test, eye test, everything, and I tested at forty three. So now, Isn't that crazy. One of the thing I follow, I followed some of your Facebook posts, and this was this became kind of more irrelevant for me in the last few years. My mother had been diagnosed with cancer, and we and we learned a lot about what diet. Kind of cancer? It was colon cancer. Well, you can catch that in a heartbeat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, you can catch that easy. That's an easy one. Yeah, yeah. And we, we, we did a lot of reading about Good. greens and, and veggies right. and all that kind of stuff. And one of, one of your posts that I found interesting, and this is a word I think more people should get into, kale. Yeah. And just even the, the lifestyle, the diet you have, um, taking care of yourself. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about, like, I mean, there is a new movement. There, there there's, there's a way to eat now where you can eat. Heavy, but it's nutrient heavy. Yeah. It's not empty calories yeah. anymore, right? We're right. cutting out the sugars. We're cutting yeah. out, you know, a lot of that. Processed stuff. foods definitely cut that out. Yeah, you know the uh, the the the. You, this is for guys you, on the road too. You're nobody, girls on the road. Nobody's going to look after you more than you are going to look yeah. after you. The 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 governments aren't looking after us. They don't no. care. No. The corporations uh, are are making you know in. in in the uh, U.S., they got this thing called, what's it called, Montesota or Montes, Mos, it's, Monsanto? It's, it's, what? Monsanto? Monsanto, yeah. yeah. And they, 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 they're they about like genetically, you know, altered stuff. It's 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 basically nutrient bull crap. And, right. and they're, they're messing up the entire, the whole, it's all about uh, mass producing yeah. and, you know, no wasted uh, crap and... Uh, but this, the nutrient level is horrible, and who knows what else? It's probably harmful. Yeah. So, um, I don't want any part of that. You know what I mean? I don't want any part of that. Basically, you know, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, are the things that literally go in your body and and, and reinforce the parts of your cells and your healthy structure to fight things like cancer and other diseases. Yeah. So you put that in you. Eating sugar, processed foods, actually feeds the other side, the other team, which is the cancer and the disease. Yeah. So you want to feed your body with, you want to give, you want to put the best fighters and best players on your team to beat the, the bad team. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. It's yeah, a war yeah, inside. Yeah. All of us are, are heading toward you know, heart disease, diabetes, and uh, cancer. Right. It's all there. It's all there. We're all heading right to it. Yeah. And so you want to, if, with that being a reality, you want to uh, do the best you can to have a long and healthy life. You know, the at the bot at the the bottom line is, you know, you should. You know, I I see people that are so overweight they can't even run with their kids at thirty two years old. Yeah. Dude, yeah, thirty-two. Yeah. I'm sixty. I can sprint. Yeah. I can. I. I got the endurance of, of a child. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. I never say die. I just yeah. it's there. You know. Yeah. I. I'll do some days. You know. I try not to do. Like tonight, when we're done. It's at, what is it? Ten o'clock. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm sorry. Yeah. Psychologically, it makes me feel good. Weight training, by the way, it doesn't have to be heavy weights, but yeah. weight training and cardio increases your hormone levels. Hormone yeah. levels fight cancer. Uh, all diseases. That's yeah. the bottom line. So, so uh, that's cutting your wrist down right yeah, there. Yeah, cutting the So, look at if you want to eat your steak, go buy the best steak you can get. You know, grass fed, no uh, yeah. pesticides, no right. hormone injected. So you do that. Eat your best fish, your best chicken. You know, you spend the money. Pay now or pay later. Yeah. If you can afford to go to Whole Foods or these the most farm raised best stuff, do it. Because you could pay the difference of being cheap now, later, by being in a hospital. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. So that's one thing. In, up, like you mentioned kale. Kale is the most nutrient. It blows spinach right out of the water. Yeah. You know, it's got more of this 
stuff that will fight disease and bring your cell, the, the good part of your cells uh, that fight off cancer up in yeah. levels. And, um, you know, and so, you know, I am, um, my diet's clean. Like tonight, I had, I had salmon, I had extra vegetables, yeah. I had a salad with very teeny bit of salad dressing. Yeah. So I wanted to have lots of vegetables, I had the salmon. Yeah. And I had a sugar craving. Oh man, I wanted the, <laughs> I wanted so much sweets. Yeah. And I went, nope, I'm gonna have berries. Yeah. Because at least it's organic. The reason why is I was drinking some red wine. Yeah, exactly. I already felt like, all right, you already were like splurging yeah, on yeah. the red wine. Yeah. Which is, you know, you should, red wine's actually good. It, it, there's a lot of good things in red wine, if it's one glass. Yeah. Not a whole bunch. I might have gone over <laughs> that one glass. <laughs> So like for this morning when I had for breakfast, I had three poached eggs, I had gluten-free toast with no butter, no jam, no nothing on it. Yeah. Boring, but you know, I just felt like, you know, I'm not lifting weights and I'm not doing cardio. Drumming, that's not cardio enough for me. Cardio right. is when you make your heart rate go flying through the yeah. roof. So, um, so uh, I'll be a little stricter on my diet because I'm not lifting weights and doing cardio. Yeah. If I have a good day at home lately, I was doing... 45 minutes of weights and an hour of cardio. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. pretty good. And that's I good. saw the difference big time. Yeah, yeah. You, could, you know, when you increase, you know, I tell people, I saw this girl who was trying to get into the police force in, um, in uh, L.A. and she's like, I can't, I can't do cardio. I went, what? Never heard of such a thing. <laughs> what do you mean you can't do cardio? I can't. All right, come on. Yeah. You can't run for five minutes? Nope. I went, I'm starting to think you need to see a shrink. Yeah. <laughs> I said, it's not impossible. Yeah. How can you not do cardio? I said, all right, okay, let's just break it down. Yeah. Now, here's what I want you to do. For one week, I want you to walk, walk for five minutes a day. Yeah. I mean, this is what I'm talking about starting from scratch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want you to walk for five minutes a day. Can you do that? But it's so boring. I said, so what? Yeah. You want to do cardio or not? You walk for five, walk for five minutes a day. How hard is five minutes? I can count that long. Yeah. Next week, 10 minutes. Whoopie doo. Yeah. It's only 10 minutes. Next week, 15 minutes. Till you get up to an hour. Yeah. And once you get to an hour, now I want you to run for five minutes. Okay, jog for five minutes. Yeah. Then for 55 minutes, you do the walking. Right. And then you go to 10 minutes of jogging. And then 50 minutes of walking. And I says, go up to about 30 minutes of running and 15, 30 minutes of walking and then call me and I'll get you to the next level. Yeah. I said, dude, <laughs> starting with five minutes, if you can't do that, yeah. you need to shrink. Yeah, yeah. There's something going on up here. I mean, you, you're young. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was like. You know, it's like, come on. I was like, well, maybe she does. I said, either that or you need to get some full body checkup because something's not right. So I asked her 18-year-old son. Dude, you can do cardio. No, I can't. I went, what's wrong with your family? <laughs> it's like, what do you mean you can't? And she said, what's that, a cigarette in your ear? Yeah, well, yeah. no wonder you can't do cardio. <laughs> Dude, I know guys who chain smoke who can, that run for an hour. <laughs> and so, and your, and your, your energy level, I mean, it's, you know, people I got say, genetics. it's not a joke. He's, uh, I feel sorry for Nate. You're you talking a little bit about uh, Nate today. His, my tech. His tech, uh, can he put some through the paces? Uh, I'm a great guy, but uh, I, you know when I go perform, and you know especially with a guy like Fogo, we're in battle, man. The yeah. guy is demanding yeah. so much from me. I am so his guy, right yeah. guy. So I don't need my tech to miss strategical things, right. like a mic that's falling out of my tongue. Right. I shouldn't spot that first. No. He should spot it. Yeah. Sorry, dude. I'm under pressure. You work for me. You got to be on it. You got to check everything out all the time. Because yeah. shit, in a two-hour show, guaranteed shit's gonna break. I go, Nate, are you ready? Do you realize something's gonna break tonight? <laughs> something's gonna. There's gonna be a disaster. Do you realize? It's like someone's. There's gonna be a disaster tonight. Are you ready for it? You don't know what it's gonna be, do you? But you better be ready. That's so tell him. Nate earns his money then as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll crack a die cast too. I'll break a symbol. You know how you tighten the top of the symbol thing? Yeah. It might loosen up and go down? Yeah. 
dude, if it goes down, you know, all right, 60 seconds, but after that, dude, you should be on it. What are you looking at? Yeah. You emailing your girlfriend? What? <laughs> he's also, I have to say, he is mixing for me. I'm, he's my monitor. Oh, okay, so, right. So. so, but he's got to be on top of it. And, you know, I, I got signals, you know. But it's because I'm under pressure from uh, Foley. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. and he's on me. I'm watching him like this. Yeah. I, I don't even have time to stand up for two hours. Right. Not even stand up. Yeah. You go song after yeah. song. And like, you know, I'm grabbing towels to wipe the sweat. God forbid my ear starts flooding up. Yeah. My ear starts to flood up from the water coming down. I'm like, uh, if Nate hasn't got three Q-tips there wrapped with, with tape so I can go... I'm like, dude! Dude! I'm flooding! If I lose... If I can't hear, I can't hear my boss! It's over! Yeah, yeah. You know, so very, very important. I, and and the, the reason I bring this up is I get I get the odd person asking about teching, and it's like, what you know, what makes good tech? How do you get tech gigs? And so there's a good, good, good right there is a good advertisement. Is you want to get a tech job? Is you you you've got to be on. He's got to be on you more than you're on you. Right. Right. Proactive. Yeah. He a good tech is somebody who's ahead of me. Yeah. And it's in some ways it's not fair because I'm like been doing this so long. I am so on top of everything. Right. My brain. Remember I told you my brain is in slivers. Yeah. Well, it started out I might have had a hundred. Now yeah. I got a billion. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> time, 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 time. Hi, hi. Kick drum, snare drum. John Fogarty, where's he at? What guitars are you using? Yeah. Nate, what's going on? I need yeah. more kick drum. My pedal down. My heel down. Heel up. Knee up. Move your leg over there. <laughs> what's the head doing? I see some dents. Make sure. Better check the tune. Make sure it's tuned right. After that, how's the die cast tube doing? This snare. This thing is. Tape right, get another stick. How many sticks do I got? I need more. That's not enough. Where's the drum key? He didn't put the drum key in the right place. Where's the Q-tips? Where's the mix? Okay, back to the next thing. It's like it's speed. I can't say it fast enough. No. I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. I would hate. Two hours. I would hate the, 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 the if they took an image of your head, the dendrites and the neural yeah. pathways. It would look like New York. It I must, love it. Must. I love it. More is more. Yes. But uh, um, the thing is, is that, uh, but that's that's why I'm always working, I think. Yeah. It's like, you know, I come in and they know, like, you know, they did an article in the Bowling, not Bowling Stone, in New York Times, Sunday edition, which is one of the biggest papers in the world. And somebody, for some reason, wanted to do an article on me, a three-page article. Oh. Um, and and they interviewed, Don was the uh, uh, producer. Yeah, was they said, was. Yeah. yeah. They said, Don, why do you hire Kenny? He lives in Indiana. Got all these great drummers in LA. He says, you know, I hire Kenny because when you hire Kenny, he comes into the room and he makes everybody play better than if I don't have him. Number one, number two, he motivates the room. Yeah. His energy, his positive energy, his whole thing motivates the room. It's like it's everything gets lit up. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. And I don't take credit for that at all. Not at all. You know what? You know what I take credit for? One thing. Uh, hard work. Yeah. Because I can like go make yourself work hard, but I, you know I was genetically born with this, this thing you know, yeah. the energy, the personality. Of course, my parents helped by in, uh, supporting me and all that. But I was born with a certain makeup. I have great genetics, and uh, that that's 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 a big part of it too. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, it really is. Um, well, well. You're gonna actually. You're moving into movies now, which I, I mean, I, even that was like I was sitting there listening to it today, and it's like, wow, you're actually you're gonna be working on a movie that Al Pacino's in. Yeah, well, I, I you know, you know, I have to let me back up a little bit. This may sound a little bit like whoa, but it's true. You know, I lived a, I lived a pretty wild life, meaning you know I was in a rock and roll band, so I was like all over the map, you know, chicks everywhere, blah blah blah, you know. And that type of stuff. Never really a druggy guy, but I was like party and stuff. But you know, I'm at that point now where I kind of cleaned everything up. You know, it's like I'm so I've been monogamous for nine years with my wife. It's like I'm really focused, and my therefore my brain isn't as distracted. Right. It's like it's like I'm focusing on it's it, and I, I have boundaries, major boundaries. Like right. there's certain people like I'm nice, but those people are not good in my life. They're losers. Yeah. They're not uh, proactive. They're not. Um, they're not moving forward. They're. They're finding. They're trying to find ways out of work. They're trying to find ways to not this and not that. No, no. I want to be around people who are moving forward, mm -hmm. 
forward. They're trying. And they're not looking for people to help them. They are helping themselves. Forward motion. And 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 I'm clearing out the stuff that's slowing me down. Something's slowing me down. I go, I'm out of here. Bye. Yeah. I leave. Yeah. I, I'm not going to change them, but I can take myself out of that situation. Exactly. Yeah. What's happened is I've seen my entire life on every level advance. Wow. Every level. I'm, dude, I'm giving people advice that is so real and not only that but then I become more when you're not cluttered with like you know crap um, you know uh, you know I'm not chasing girls anymore I got my wife that's all I need yeah I got my wife so I'm not all that energy for a man especially we have a lot of energy we're built to hunt and go after chicks and stuff like that when you can focus on one, it's so much easier, you know, it's right. easier, it so simplifies and all that other energy now goes to health, uh, you know, uh, 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 your career, everything that is important. Yeah. And our, I created an ethos, almost like a commandment, it's not that many of them, you know, it's like, you know, uh, you know uh, monogamy, truth, honor, integrity. Uh, don't lend pe money to people. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got screwed by being so nice. Yeah. Uh, so that when you get weak and you're going to go like, what are my ethos? Oh yeah, don't lend. Sorry, I can't lend you any money. Uh, oh yeah, the, the truth is, you know, and that's the thing is, you know, I am, you know, never lie to my wife, ever. And if somebody that I don't really care about asks me something that I don't really want to involve, in, divulge, personal information because they ask because they don't they're not worthy to have it yeah. I don't lie to them I just don't tell them anything right yeah and I have so much more integrity about myself and I believe in myself more <laughs> I already did but I'm like at a whole nother level yeah. now things are getting bigger and bigger and even moving more forward so the movie thing it's funny I've been saying for the last couple of years you know I want to do more TV I want to I want to get into TV and movies whatever I'm yeah. just putting it out there yeah. So the next thing you know, I'm, I'm not saying say that this is why it happened. Probably the reason why it happened is because I recorded two songs on an Al Pacino movie, and uh, and they and they he decided he wanted us in the movie as right. his band. Yeah. So I'm, I got my second day of filming, and one was in a club, and then one was now we're going to be on a big stage. He's right. like a Neil Diamond kind of guy. He writes. He's really successful. The club scene was he was trying to play a song that really means a lot to him, but it wasn't a hit. Right. And the people in the club were screaming, Baby Doll, they're screaming the hit name, and he's a little bit distracted, finally goes, Okay, I get it, I get it. I'm Baby Doll for the rest of my life. All right. Yeah. Pulls out the keyboard player who's in our band, says, Phil, come here, we're going to do Baby Doll. All right, so he sits down and plays, and he goes up front and we play Baby Doll. It was f amazing, you know, watching him act is just reminded me of the way when I do takes. It's like you know what you're going to do, yeah. but then you adjust things. Every take you give them, because they're recording, you give them a variety of things to pick from. Right. You yeah. know, maybe this take I'll open up the high ass a little bit more. This take I'm going to do a different fill. Right. He was just like that. He'd come out, and he would come up behind the, co the corner and go, hello everybody, thank you for coming, thank you, thank you. Wow. And next time he come out, the curtain was just around his head. He go, hello. Oh, nice. Come out and go. I love being here. Wow. Hi. Hi. Hey. Looks at the band. Hi. Okay. Sits down. Next take comes right out. And goes. This is great. <laughs> this is great. I love being here. Thank you for coming. I love you. Sits down. Every room's yeah. appropriate but different. Yeah, and he, he's, I get, I mean, I, I've, I've read a lot of biographies, I've never met him, but he's such an artistic guy. Like, he, yeah. he, you know, what he does, he's really good at, and he's really in his passion. Like, yeah, you tell me, i got to read his biography, that sounds fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. sounds amazing. Yeah. You know, those are the guys I like to read biographies about. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, Read guys like Lance Armstrong. You know, I know he got nailed for lying about the dope, but mm. man, those books are just what a yeah. hero, what a what a guy. You know. So, and you're on the the DTX tour for the next little while for three uh, weeks. Three weeks, and then three where weeks. where does the world have you going in the next couple months? Well, while I'm doing the DTX tour, I'm doing the Al Pacino movie. I'm also yeah. going to Dallas to play a, a show with these uh, these. Uh, 
two girls who are singer-songwriters. Then I'm doing Bodine's gigs okay. in between DTX uh, shows. And Bodine's were a killer band from the uh, you know 80s and 90s, and just great, yeah. great singer-songwriters. I've recorded with them. Uh, and then um, let me see. I got uh, you know some clinics, and then I'm mixing a record that I produced. And I'm writing a book, uh, so I every week I, I meet you know once yeah it's it's killer, wow. uh, it's 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 so much information you know it's like we're just dealing with the Mountain Camp stuff I mean I gotta get into the Pumpkins the Bob Seger segment the Melissa Etheridge the, uh, the Cocker segment uh, the uh, you know the, the Fogarty segment uh, this is just the touring stuff we haven't even gotten to the studio stuff what about the Rolling Stones right you know, right. hanging with them what yeah. about Oh my God! And, and we, I, I'm going to leave out all the smut yeah. because, <laughs> dude, the stories that we have—I mean, gee, we, we we used to hijack chicks on our jets, bring them on the plane, come on for two weeks. You know, the stories—it was, it was all positive stuff, but yeah. it was—it was just. I mean, I could write a book just on that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Sure, you could. <laughs> you know, you know, it was just, it was it was all positive stuff. It was funny stuff. Our hospitality rooms. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a little hospitality room backstage, but I'd be sitting on stage going like, oh, "My tech, geez, this is like twenty thousand sold out." See that girl in the third row with the striped shirt? Give her a backstage pass. And I see my girl going out. That one? Yeah, that one. Sure. And then I meet her backstage. How you doing? Nice to meet you. You want a uh, beer or some wine? <laughs> Kenny, what a pleasure, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Black Page readers, check him out. KennyArnoff dot com. Uh, follow him on Twitter, Facebook. He's got some great stuff with regards to health, even tips that Kenny can offer you with regard to playing. Mm, close up. Um, and it's stuff you should really, really pay attention to. Uh, if you like the interview, like, tweet, plus one. Uh, leave your own tips and, and tricks of the trade or uh, some diet recipes, some kale recipes. How yeah. about that? Yeah. Leave us some kale smoothie recipes. Till then, next time, we'll see you around.